gravity. It keeps Earth orbiting around the sun, satellites in Earth's orbit, and all of us standing on the ground. Gravity also allows us to track how water moves around our home planet. By measuring minute changes in gravity from space, the Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment, or GRACE mission, and its successor, GRACE Follow-On, have helped us follow water moving on and below Earth's surface for more than 15 years. Now, integrating these and other measurements into advanced computer models allows researchers to distinguish water in the soil, root zone, and deeper in the ground, and to forecast into the future. Working with the National Drought Mitigation Center, NASA scientists are providing global water availability maps and U.S. forecasts to the public. The forecasts look 30, 60, and 90 days into the future and allow farmers, community managers, and researchers to prepare for flash droughts and floods. The ability to forecast where water will be comes from knowing where water has been, measuring soil moisture, and how much water has been gained or lost from aquifers. Using the models to separate the water into layers, we can better predict events like flash floods, which are more likely when the surface soil is already saturated, and anticipate droughts as aquifers run out of water and take time to recharge. Among the layers, surface soil moisture responds most rapidly to the weather, while root zone soil moisture, the water available to plants, changes more slowly, and groundwater, a vital resource for drinking water and agriculture, evolves over months and longer like here in the Okavango Delta. In the 25 years before GRACE launched, the region experienced a prolonged drought. Around the time GRACE started collecting data in 2002, precipitation picked back up. While the soil moisture quickly responded, it took longer for the aquifers to refill. Although groundwater is not immediately affected by drought, it also takes longer to recover from drought. In Australia, a historic drought in the early 2000s impacted all of the layers. Another drought at the end of 2019 was seen by the GRACE FO mission and dried out vegetation in the region, leading to intense fires that burned through early 2020. Let's take another look at Europe. A heat wave scorched Western Europe, melting glaciers and drying out the region. Soil moisture dries up almost immediately, while the root zone, which crops rely on, takes longer to catch up. This computer model, by assimilating satellite observations, helps monitor drought and wetness conditions. NASA scientists originally developed the capability for the United States, but it's now providing valuable information on the whole world. Combining NASA's spaceborne view with research and high-end computing helps us better prepare for extremes in water availability.